right, this clip comes to us um, out of uh, Nottingham, England. This was January 3rd, 2019. It's a haunted museum in Nottingham, and apparently they have like a bunch of vintage old artifacts which are haunted. One of them is an old Victorian hearse. Watch this, right here. What? Look, the handle goes shooting up and comes back down. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a good one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Am I redeeming myself with this one? Who you are with it? Here we go, seven. Give that one a seven on the woogie boogie? Yeah. All right. Where are you at? Ditto. Two sevens? Yep. Ooh. OK. If you were to guess uh, an object would be haunted in the house, because you have a lot of antiques, what object would you think would be haunted? One, oh, a squirrel. My head. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I suppose the two leather chairs upstairs mm. where the piano is. Yeah. You know, I'd, only because we, we handed it to a psychic, but that, that piece of the World Trade Center you have, remember yeah. when you handed it to yeah, the psychic yeah, yeah. and she was like, whoa. It's witnessed a bad event. Yeah. A lot of souls went up there. It holds energy. It witnessed traumatic it events. Oh, it's a thing. When I was on stage and that guy gave it to me when I was down in the Meadowlands and he handed it to me, it was still warm and I was like, I can remember the shock going up my arm. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. Objects can hold energy if they're witness to I something. I was saying this, 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 this was pre it's a hearse. It's, it's from the last century or whatever the f it was from. Mm -hmm. And that was that. If I always saw that, I'd go, what the f was that? Mm. Up to. Oh, absolutely. I would do more than raise a f eyebrow, would it that way? And Too it's right. not ball lightning. It's not ball lightning. <laughs> My friend Tyler and I discussed this at great lengths. All right, think about Los Angeles, right? There's 13 million people that live in the county. If you do the math of Los Angeles residents that die annually, right? It doesn't add up. You would be seeing a funeral procession every single day of the week, sometimes two or three times a day, two or three times a, uh, a day. Where the f are all the bodies? Oh, can we change the Wait, sure, this is a haunted her. But this is my point, though, <laughs> of, like, where are all the bodies? And also, too, if... It, so, say, if you said only 10% were getting buried, that would mean, okay, what's 10% of, call 150,000 people die in LA County a year out of 13 million? Are you sure it's that high? Let's just do a quick, quick look. Oh, let's just get on me. No, this, this is an interesting, I want to make this point because this, this is a strange conspiracy. No, stop Go this. on, go on. Hold on. Fuck it, it's just that dead, so it didn't matter, did it? Okay, 60,000. Okay, so then if you take 60,000, but there's got to be uh, got to be more than five. There's got to be like a few <laughs> crematoriums about. 164 a day, Jack. Okay, so that's that's 164 burials a day. Say conservatively, only 50% get buried. That's 82. You would see a funeral procession. No, it's a every pretty day. big place. It's not one street. There's a. Well, I know, but like as much as I drive around the city and you think you're on the freeway every day going to work. When was the last time you saw a funeral procession on any day of the week? What's Evans. this got to do with this The point I'm trying to make is, where are all the bodies? Dead. <laughs> Next, ball lightning. Think about, am I wrong? Is this a weird theory? I like it. Right, where are all the bodies? It's a, they've obviously got a few crem crematoriums. Shall we move on? Yeah.